We now come to the incubation workshop, the largest in the world. The tilapia eggs were transported to the shed to be sterilized, meaning cleaned with water mixed with other products. I'm going to take this over there, but you can't film me. Filming this is forbidden. We won't know what the product is. There are nearly 1,200 buckets and 115 million eggs in incubation in this hangar. 70% of them will become fry, and 80% of these fry will survive. An impressive success rate. Further away, in the blue basins, the fry will remain for one month, fed every hour, 10 times a day. This tank is 5,300 gallons. We breed between 250,000 and 300,000 fry here. We have to wait 10 days before marketing them. As you can see, the fry are developing very well, in a uniform way. We look at its size, shape, and also its appearance. It is during this period that the tilapia's sex is defined through hormones. Mr. Zong only wants males, who all grow at the same speed and homogeneously. There is chemistry to change the sex of the fish. But not only that, further on, we discover other products at the foot of the pools. Mr. Zong agrees to talk about them. Here is a mixture of fungi, algae, and microorganisms. This is to improve the presence of algae in the water. It's a nutrient solution with good bacteria and photosynthesis catalysts. This is our Baolu product. It strengthens immunity. They are biomass agents based on hormones. This product is based on photosynthetic bacteria, lactic acid bacteria, and fungi. Mr. Zong's company supplies 35% of the fry from the island of Hainan. One of its clients is Kin Fu, which grows tilapia at nine sites. This is the largest, 170 acres, including 100 acres of ponds. When Qiu Chang tours these pools, it's behind the wheel of his car, and it can take a while. He is responsible for the Kin Fu Group's breeding sites. We have 35 fish ponds. It takes over an hour to go around them. We are one of the biggest independent companies in China, and this is no joke. Each pool contains about 60,000 tilapias, and there are 34 pools, over 2 million heads. Once they have reached maturity, after 7 to 8 months, all the tilapia in the same basin are fished out. The operation to get all the fish out of the water lasts two days. Tilapia is an easy fish to raise because it's omnivorous. It eats insects, algae, it eats everything. It's a fish that comes from Africa, where it is very popular. This is called a good quality fish at a low price because the technical requirements necessary for its breeding are not very high. Loaded into tank trucks, the tilapia are often anesthetized with chemicals, so they don't hurt themselves and arrive alive at the processing plant.
Mr. Zhu, the boss of the Kin Fu Group, is a man in a hurry, but he insisted on accompanying us to show us around his factory. Twenty trucks loaded with tilapia arrive every day. We do a first sorting here, and everything you see in these bins is thrown away. They are either dead fish or other species of fish. Everything else goes into production. The fish must be fresh, slippery, have a beautiful color, be shiny. It must be bred to our standard. This is our standard. There is no trace of hormone or trace of medication that exceeds the standards. It's true that everything here is a matter of standards and documents. This is our license to export from China to all around the world. It's called HACCP. It's very difficult to get this certificate. We must meet China's export standards and also the standards of the client countries. With this certification, Mr. Zhu can export his fish all over the world. It's less practical for small fish farmers like Madame Fan Bian, who does not have the export authorization. On the island of Hainan, which has 2,500 farms, only 10 have the famous certificate. Look at all those little black dots. They're fry. They are nine centimeters long. This kind of food is more convenient because there's nothing to prepare. It is ready to be used. I think if you feed them with other foods, the fish will not grow as well. It just needs to eat this kind of food and it will grow faster. All of Hainan's farmers feed with this. Wang Gingong has come to test Fan Bian's pool water. It's a free service provided by the island's Tilapia Management Association. I just measure the oxygen and water temperature. The fish in this pond are starting to get big. They consume a lot of oxygen, so a lot is needed. With the weather like today, the oxygen level in the water is at its highest level. The level of oxygen measured at 5.6 milligram. Tilapia needs 3 milligram, and here we have 5.6, so it's good. If the fish die, we will all lose hundreds of thousands of yuan. This is why we have so many fountains to create an oxygen exchange with the surface. The surface water, very rich in oxygen, permanently mixes with the water from the bottom of the pond. We'll compare the color with this test paper. If the nitrate is high, the color will be very red. It's not red. Because if the nitrate level is high, the fish in the pond will not eat, and then I will have dead fish. I put in an anti-nitrite treatment yesterday, so today everything is fine. This is why everything seems normal. <laughs>